1970, I coined the term speciesism to describe the prejudice against the other species and to draw the analogy with other prejudices like racism and sexism. The point I was trying to make was that we're all related, all species are related biologically and through evolution. And instead of treating the other species like um, objects, we should be treating them as our evolutionary cousins, as our kindred. We should stop exploiting them in laboratories, in factory farms, in the wild and elsewhere. I felt that speciesism was an unintelligent, out-of-date sort of prejudice. Since Charles Darwin came along and told us that we're all animals and we're all related through evolution, we haven't really drawn the proper moral conclusions from that. It's like it's taken a hundred years or more for the penny to drop. We're really all in the same boat, morally speaking. Darwin himself said this. Darwin worried about the way in which the human animal treated the other animals as our slaves. And indeed, there is a moral similarity between speciesism and slavery. The important thing about the other species of animal is that they can suffer pain. And there's growing scientific evidence that other animals do suffer pain. They have similar nervous systems to ourselves. They have similar biochemicals in the brain associated with the experience of pain in ourselves. So we can be fairly sure that they do experience pain and distress in the same sort of way that we do, hundreds of other species of animals. And I am saying that morally it's important that X amount of pain in a dog or an elephant or a cat matters as much as X amount of pain in human beings. So it doesn't matter what species you're from, any more than it matters what race or gender you're from, the pain is the same. So we shall all have the same sort of respect, morally speaking. Some people argue that um, because human beings allegedly are more intelligent or more religious or more independent or autonomous than some of the other species, that therefore this gives us some moral superiority. Well, I argue that all these alleged differences, which are probably exaggerated anyway, all these alleged differences are morally irrelevant. They aren't relevant to the moral situation at all. The important thing is that we all suffer pain. Jeremy Bentham said this, the famous British philosopher, in 1789, when he said, it, the question is not, can they reason, nor can they talk, but can they suffer? Suffering is really the important criterion for morality, not somebody's intelligence. I mean, we don't give special extra rights to professors because they're intelligent, or to priests because they're very religious. We wouldn't want that to happen within our own society. So why do we do it across the species barrier, allegedly giving us uh, more moral privileges, more rights, than the other species merely because we seem to be a bit more intelligent. It doesn't make sense.